Okay, so the project today is to try and separate the unseparable. Uh, this is basically a Siemens IQ 300. Um, it's in really, really good condition. The only downside to it is that the bearings have gone. Basically, the tub is a one-part tub uh, sealed for life. And the project today is to try and separate that tub. Okay, keep a note of the way everything goes. Um, just taking out the heater assembly. Okay, here we are. This is the moment of truth. The tub in two. And there we go. It's actually at this stage where it's possible to take the drum out of the tub and look at the bearings. Here we are, these are the bearings out of the tub, it's pretty rusty in there, surprisingly, but um, maybe not so surprisingly, but anyway, there we are, they're out, let's see what we can get, see if we can find some new ones. I'm going to take some of the residual rust off, obviously not too much, do not want the bearings to be spinning around, but at the same time, want to remove the worst of it. Try and make sure they're correct. fitted an inner bearing with a ID of 30, um, an OD of 72 and a width of 19. That's the one for the inside of the tub. And on the outside of the tub had an ID of 25mm, an OD of 52mm and a width of 15. These seem to be the uh, perfect fit. Now hopefully we use this just to slowly and carefully position this bearing. We use the length of M8 studding uh, with a couple of nuts and some washers and utilise the old bearings to try and pull in the new ones without resorting to hammering. So here we have the new bearing seal supplied from George Lodge, fantastic service. This is the old one and as you can see there's been a fair ingress of water. I think this is probably uh, directly responsible for the failure of the bearing. Slight difference between the two seals um, but I think this one is probably possibly better it's got a sort of double internal lip whereas this one hasn't although it's got the outer flange so i think i'm probably going to be happy enough to go with that and certainly give it a try okay this is the old bearing and uh, just using that to tap it very gently into place so it's uh, secure okay so here we are we're just going to drill using this little innovation it's really sort of quite a ideal little tool essential so we're going to fix the two Together. I use stainless steel M4 bolts with nylon nuts. Stainless steel to prevent rusting. And that sort of thing. I'm going to use some nylon nuts on the end, but they should be perfect stainless steel. It's a high tensile silicon uh, sealer. 
basically with a skinning over time of 15 minutes but I allowed 24 hours for it to dry completely. It's just a case of taking a little bit of time. Having carefully positioned the two halves of the tub together, I was aware that uh, the setting time of the silicon sealant um, was going to be fairly rapid so I was keen to get all the bolts in position and get everything um, nipped up in readiness um, for torquing it properly so essentially I wanted to get every bolt in place with the nine lock nuts in position and then uh, I would torque them all up um, from opposite sides to try and ensure that we got perfect integrity and a seal on that drum. Here we are doing a little integrity test just to make sure it's well and truly sealed and it all looks good at the moment so uh, we're good to continue. <laughs> 